I'm Kirsten Ronning. I'm a costume designer for the series. I'm Lindsay Radzeminski, and I'm the head shopper here at uh, Supergirl. So this is the trailer that comes with us to all the location shoots. And we work out of it every day for every episode. We're at work by about 6 a.m. And we start dressing background. So like for instance, this is the DEO. Whenever we're in the DEO, we have a plethora of background people playing these characters. So we have to gather them and get them in the appropriate garb. Hank and Alex are in the DEO and what they wear in the DEO represents their ranking. You know, Hank will wear more of a tactical shirt, which has, um, you know, pockets so that they can work in the field. Alex, being a little bit lower ranking, wears a polo shirt. We have a few different layers that she'll wear. Some occasionally she'll wear a jacket, depending on what kind of maneuver she's going to do. Sorry, darling, I just can't hear you over the loud color of your cheap pants. And then we have Kat, who plays Kara's boss, played by Callista Flockhart. She wears more fashion, forward, fun clothes. You know, we put all of her jewelry and accessories with each outfit, and, um, you know, it's really fun to dress her. I have a conference in Geneva, and I need to be on a plane in two hours. And I have a blind date in a half an hour, and I need you to help me pick out what to wear. I win. And then we move into Kara, her, you know, Supergirl's counterpart, her casual clothes, what she wears in the office. It's a really fun character to explore with her clothes. She's a little bit preppy, um, a little bit awkward, I would say. And she sort of has this every girl kind of element to her, right? Like she's approachable and you can connect with her in this way through the clothes. And then we have some of our other cast members, Wynn, who's really fun to play with. He's also a little bit preppy, a little bit nerdy, and, and he wears a lot of ties. He's an IT guy at CatCo. And Hank, um, David Harewood, um, wears a lot of, you know, just the black DEO look. And then our, our handsome Jimmy Olsen, he's fun to dress too. We put him in a lot of jeans, he occasionally wears a tie, but he's very handsome, he's very fun to dress, and he works in the office, so, you know, but he still occasionally wears t-shirts, and because he's sometimes out in the field reporting and working for the media. And, uh, <laughs> this one has, has the S. So, and then we move into the most important Supergirl costume. You see we have all sorts of them here. And um, we, you know, we have, they're in pieces when we see them here, the skirt and the bodysuit. It's a fun costume. The cape is beautiful. It's this red lambskin. Um, it's built onto a corset so that it relieves some of the weight um, on our actress, Melissa. It's hard to see sometimes on the show, but the skirt, has little glyphs on it, right? It's the little outline of what the S is in, right? On her, it fits beautifully, it just makes the show. We have different types of boots made. Um, there's some that have a lift in them and some that don't, so that they can operate according to which stunts we need and what types of stunts they need to do. How do you wash it? Um, very carefully, um, because it's all, you know, it's all dyed and printed specifically. It does, um, it's not resistant to wear. You can't throw it in the washer. Because <laughs> uh, it's a whole, you know, the screen printing is, is just these layers of, of you know, um, ink essentially. And so it's, it's, it's strong, but it's not as strong as you'd think. It, it wouldn't break if it were exposed to heat. Putting the costume on for the first time, it's really hard not to just have a sh like complete shift of state of mind um, and feel empowered and my posture changes and I just, it, I feel like I can save the world.